You want to be NFL? Work hard. Put in the work. You can get it. The Chicago Bears select Zach Pickens, defensive tackle, South Carolina. He's got size. Yep. He's got length. Durable. Thick-bodied athletic tackle who shows strength and has the ability to create push. There's definitely untapped potential. I think his best football is still in front of him. He's just going to be on another level. His hunger and his appetite for the game is at a whole nother level. And you'll see. I wanted them to be better. I wanted them to have better. And I wanted them to explore what they wanted to do in life. And I just supported them. With Zach, I saw it. From the first snap of the first play of, of Little League, I saw it. My mom, she always said I could do it. She was like, you're NFL bound before I even started. I remember the first day he went out there, he was 10. They looked at him and was trying, like begging my mom to come get him out on the field. And the very first scrimmage, the very first play, he made a sack. So just watching his excitement from that, it was amazing. As he started to watch me play, he started to become more fascinated with the game. Seeing his brother play and the love and the passion that my oldest son has for the game, it definitely came from him. And the rest is history from, from that moment with the Steelers up until now playing for the Chicago Bears. This has been his thing. Uh, my childhood was the best childhood, especially growing up with my brother. So we'd do everything together. I really never had like a father figure except my brother. So um, I, everything from my competitiveness, everything I learned from my brother my toughest person that was on me. We are three years apart, so we have a little bit of distance, but he pushes me just as much as I push him in life. And it's funny that he's the NFL star because that's not what he was into as kids. It was cartoons. He was a big kid. He was a kid. He was just taller than everybody. But he looks up to me a lot, so just him being able to watch me play, and then he's like, I just want to be like my brother. So. This was the, the beginning, not the end goal. So I know that we got so much more to showcase. I'm just very proud of him. I'm really big on family. Growing up, it was me, my brother, and my mom. It was just us three. Being a single parent mom, having two boys, and we both young, and she was young. And we didn't really make our job easier either, but she made a way and found out how we could do it and it was sports. To have our mom from, you know, the very moment that we decided to play football, like I was 10 just as well. So hers is just excitement for us, pushing us to be where we want to be. She's always had a vision for us and she just helped us reach the goal. I commend her for just always being able to push both of us to the to the brink to where we didn't think that we could do it and she always opening new avenues for us so it's it's nice to have someone especially your mother be your biggest fan she's a force to be reckoned with <laughs> she is like a mama bear and um, she takes care of her children um, she makes sure they have everything they need and she supports them no matter what but she's not uh, afraid to get after him if they need it. Felicia always kept him grounded. I think he was very well aware of all that his mother had to sacrifice for him and for Kevin. You know, she would work her job, you know, whether it was at the health campus, and then, you know, she would sell and make cakes and pies for people. You know, she would work any other jobs on the weekends that she needed to in order to make sure that they had everything that they needed to be able to participate in the sports and, you know, the costs that come with that. She's one of the most hardworking women I've ever met in my life. <laughs> and she's really an inspiration to me. She sacrificed a lot. You know, she went without to make sure that we have. So for my brother, this is the biggest thank you, you know, from him to her. The sacrifice that she did, I knew it wasn't easy. That's why I play the game now, because I'm trying to make sure her lifestyle, hers, whatever she wants in her life, it comes true. This is the greatest gift God could have ever given me is to be a mom. And I was not gonna mess that up for nothing. Um, I'm gonna give my all. 
um, to them, and I'll do it again in a heartbeat. First time I met Zach, he was brought into our AAU basketball program. I was coaching, and the other coach said, I think we, we needed a big man. We were hurting bad. So all of a sudden, this kid shows up. He's a big man, all right. He, as a youngster, he, he was more large in size than he was muscular and big. And he started developing as a, as a player and got a lot better. And that's how my wife and I got to, to know Zach. We would travel to different basketball tournaments and stuff like that. People would see our team walk in and they were like, there's no way that kid's in the sixth grade. There's no way that kid's in the seventh grade. We need to see proof. We need to see identification. We need to see birth certificates. <laughs> and, and then they were like, there's no way, there's no way. And so, you know, lots of times he would be frustrated because he was so big that he was, you know, going up through the middle and he was getting called for all the fouls, even if it wasn't him, you know, he's just there, he's everywhere. He's just so huge compared to all of them. I mean, it's pretty rare you see, you know, someone in like the sixth grade that's already like, six foot two and you know me a little kid probably like still four foot tall you knew that he was going to be good at a sport you know we weren't sure then whether that'd be basketball or football in greenville um we had just gotten there and the coach couldn't remember his name he kept big guy big daddy Big Daddy, Big Daddy. And, and, and he turned around and he went, my name is Zach, my name is Zach. But Big Daddy stuck with him throughout the whole thing because the coach was excited because Zach was getting a sack. I mean, the polo team couldn't do anything. As long as Zach was in, he was sacking the, the quarterback every single time. Big Daddy, <laughs> that's what we used to call him, Big Daddy. He just came out there one day. He, this is like his first year playing. He was just better than everybody. His, off his first year, he was bigger and faster than everybody. For his size, he could move so well. It is, I feel like that's hard to guard, like a big guy that can move that fast. I feel like other big men, they, they can move, but not as fast or quickly as that can. I'll never forget, he was in eighth grade, and the coaches at Lander University were already scouting and said, son, where are you planning on going to school? You know, it just, and here's an eighth grader, you know? And they noticed it because he stood out that much. It, it, and, at that point, it just started taking off. But then, uh, going into the ninth grade year, he really was developing, starting to get into the weight program, shoulders getting broad, you know, that kind of thing. And everybody started protesting. Well, by that time, he had a name out there. Everybody's going, okay, this kid right here is something special. And you could see him, uh, people gravitating to him. Zach was heavily recruited at a young age, his freshman year. Um, he got 13, 14 offers as a freshman. I went to a Clemson game and Florida State was my first one. And they told me to walk close to the sideline. They got a glimpse of me and I was like, we're gonna offer him. And at first I was like, that's crazy, man. They ain't just giving me an offer because I mean, I don't know what I'm doing right now. And I was a freshman playing on varsity and they was like, we're gonna give you an offer. And then right after that, it just kept coming. Drops to throw, plenty of time. Gamecocks pressuring now, running him out of the pocket. They've got him! And down he goes, back at the 28. It is Zach Pickens from Anderson, South Carolina, who takes down the Georgia QB, second sack of the game, and they'll force the Bulldogs to punt. I tell you what you can expect from Zach at this next level. You will not find a harder working person as far as his body, his work ethic, he, he's gonna get out there, he's gonna put his nose to the grind, and I promise every time he puts that hand down in the ground, he's giving 100%. And they got a teammate, they got a great leader, they got someone that's, every way he's went, he's made the team better. He's more of a lead by example, he's not gonna say much, but when he does, it speaks volumes. He's gonna make his mark on this world. Y'all have not seen what he's gonna do. Um, with his teammates. And it's one thing about it's not one singled out person. He is a teammate person and they're gonna dominate together. That was the best feeling. I don't think nothing I ever reached that because we, we, we made it. We made history. 
Um, out of my, out of all my family, my dad's side, my mom's side, I was the only one to get this far. And being in that moment with her, my brother, that was like the best feeling. Like I, I will never feel again because you only get drafted once. We always had this vision for Zach. It's like I said, it's expected for him to be here, and now it's just like surreal. Words cannot begin to describe how proud I am of him. I knew this moment was going to come. My mind went back to little league, <laughs> middle school, high school, college, and every adversity he faced, every success that he made. He dominated, he pushed through, he persevered, and came out on top. I am so proud. Oh, I'm so proud. I just want to be remembered. You know, not just a name. I just want to be legendary.